who's late? Where's Paul? Where's the cannon guy? Well, he's lagging just like his camera. Oh. Sorry, late, Mike. late, just like Cannon. Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, Clay, go pick a spot so I can copy you and shoot it better. My biggest and toughest competition is actually probably the X-T3, just based on feature for feature. But you never let him know? No, because he's, he's still a small little guy. You think he's overcompensating for something? He's definitely overcompensating for everything. Overcompensating by having the smaller sensor and competing with the bigger sensors of the bunch? I think he's overcompensating with his giant sensor and giant lenses. How much is your camera? My camera, this is 3200. 399. Body only. Uh, Body only. How much 1499. Is that? Wow. Oh. Does it perform like a 1499? No, man, it outperforms you. So I was a full frame shooter for a long time. Ton of reasons, but boiled down to it, that's not mirrorless. Full frame camera, these huge sensors, the big glass, it's not mirrorless. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, so it fits my shooting style because uh, it has built in image stabilization, which none of the other cameras have, and it can shoot at 10 frames per second at 42 megapixels. The ergonomics is amazing. Compared to the bigger D850 that I normally use, it's perfect. I'm really enjoying the fact that I can manually focus and get it super sharp in camera, and um, I feel like a bird just landed on my head. These guys are still shooting. It's been done already. I'm walking here. Oh, God. Please stop. Bro, what are you shooting with? This is the new Nikon Z7. It shoots like a brick because it's four pounds. <laughs> <laughs> we have one of every race. We have an Asian, a lab person, a white guy, and a leprechaun. Trash talk is definitely Quay. He's hardcore. He's at it from the get-go. Everybody else is pretty nice, but Quay, I feel like he may make me cry by the end of the night. I'm gonna be honest with you, Sony's got a good platform. His, his kryptonite might just be, you know, his ego and maybe his hairstyle. This system reminds me of something that's old, super heavy, probably like the Nikon. Heavy metal, that's all I have to say. Hey man, how are you healing? From the kidney you had to sell to afford that camera. Well, if I knew what I was getting into with all this trash talking this weekend, I would have had second thoughts, but I'm a shark, just like them. There's pros and cons. This is for pros, the rest are just cons. Come on, Mike. You tired of carrying that thing, baby? <laughs> so Canon has the new 50 millimeter lens. Yeah. I just wanted to get your take on how the new mirrorless compares to the DSLR. I thought mirrorless was all about getting smaller, and it seems to me like they just went bigger. Bigger sometimes better. Canon's system is the most ridiculous by far. They were late to the party. You have to have an adapter to use legacy glass. We'll just make them buy another adapter so they can use the lens that they already have. Perfect. Well, yeah, this, this is, is the street. Yeah, this is the biggest Instagram shot. We're all friends. We met through Instagram. We bust each other's balls to the max. <laughs> but we do actually all like each other. This camera or this camera or this camera can have a million features on it. But if the user doesn't know how to take advantage of it, then what's the purpose? If you're comfortable with the system and you like what it's doing for you, then you're going to stick with that until something better comes along. Every camera is good in its own right. It's a matter of purpose at the end of the day. That's it.